Recently Mikey presented a new lens, a 25mm f1.8 fully manual lens for Sony E-mount and many other mounts. But I have the Sony E-mount version here for testing, I get it from Mikey for free. But my review will be about the positive and also the negative things. Have fun! Hello and welcome here to another video on my channel. Today, like I said at the beginning, it will be about the Mikey 25mm f1.8. And at first, let's take a look how it comes packaged. Here we have the box and you see a little picture of the lens. It's 25mm f1.8, 49mm filter, filter thread, APS-C multi-coded and the picture. On this side you have some specifications, on this side another picture of the lens and also the same information as at the front. Here you have it again, the information and it is for Sony E-mount because I want to test it at my Sony Alpha 6000. But now we take a look inside the box. So here we have it. At first we have a nice little pouch which is uh, yeah, some polyester material and inside some uh, fluffy that the lens doesn't damage anyways. Here we have a guarantee card from Mikey, like every time, but we don't need it now. Some microfiber glove, it's always nice to have, and some silica gel. And now the lens itself. Here we have it. Yeah. It is nice and small and yeah, here we have it. Well, it feels like it is an all metal build. The focus ring is very smooth and yeah, yeah the focus ring like I said is very smooth and you have around half of a turn to get from 0.25 to infinity. The aperture is also nice, but a bit more stiff and yeah, nice big back element. The front element isn't as big, but it is a 25 millimeter with 1.8 maximum open aperture, so it have to be a bit bigger front element. Here I have everything again multi-coded, 0.25 meters, 0.49 filter thread and f1.8 25 millimeter. Here you have it. First of all, some to the optics of the lens. It's very small and compact. It has about the same size as a Sony kit lens if it's collapsed or something like the 35mm lens from Mikey or from Lito or something else. Um, so you have a very very small compact factor and but also if it's built fully out of metal it isn't heavy at all. But because of all the metal and the good quality in the building it felt very very worthy. And so it is really nice to work with it and to have it attached at your camera and I like all in all the optics and I like the lens. The only thing I doesn't like at the lens is the lens cap, which is also fully out of metal, which is good in the first way, but in this case you have a lens cap which only clicks onto it and not into the filter thread here. So this is good at the first part because it looks nice and it is a new thing, but I already have the 28mm and there it isn't stiff anymore. So I, it get loose if I turn the lens upside down and it nearly fall off immediately. So this is nice, but it's not a good way to protect your lens all over again in the future. So like I said at the beginning, it's a fully manual lens. So you have one ring for the focus and one for the aperture and you have no electronic connections. Um, yeah, it's the, the handling is very, very nice. The ring for the aperture is nice and stiff, uh, not too stiff, but stiff enough that you can bump it accidentally and so the aperture stays at the point where you want it. The focus ring is a bit loose and in my opinion a bit too loose, but it's okay. 
it's only my opinion and it's not much but a tiny tiny bit to lose but this is only a little little bit to lose i think you see it if i'm focused closer the barrel extends a little bit i think about two to three millimeters it's not much but it also have an influence on the image so it seems like you zoom if you focus in and out but it's not a big deal if you only do stilts the focus ring goes from 0.25 of a meter to one meter in nearly a half turn then fast to two meters and even fast to infinity so it's really nice to focus within 0.25 of a meter until one to two meters after it it is a bit hard to focus but i think the main working distance will be within two meters the aperture ring goes from 1.8 all the way until 16 within a really short turn but it's okay all in all it's a decent working with this lens but now we came to the most important point of this review the image quality and here first of all i want to show you some pictures What do you think about the pictures are they good are they not good is the lens worth the 80 dollars or not in my opinion yes it is worth the 80 dollars because the image quality at about an aperture of four and within the distance of 0.25 to one one and a half meter is really 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 good but you can't use it at open aperture at f1.8 the image gets really really blurry and not sharp at all and by far not as sharp at f4. So you can't really use it at f1.8, so you have to stop down at least 2.8. So yeah, why I want to buy a f1.8 lens if I can't use it at f1.8. The next thing, if you want to photograph something which further away than one and a half meter, the image quality also gets a bit loose. So yeah. I, like I said at the beginning, if you use it at f4 with an aperture of about 4, you can really use it and produce really, really sharp and nice images. But in all other cases, it isn't a great lens at all. But you have to think that this is an $18 lens and so it is worth the price. You have some vignetting going on in the edges at f1.8, but not as much as with the 28mm for example, and it get away until f4. Some barrel distortion appears also, but it is a 25mm lens, so it is in a normal way. Fringing is nearly no there, only if you photograph directly in harsh sunlight. You can see some and you have some purple fringing, but it isn't as much as at other lenses, so it's all in all really, really well. What I really love about this lens is bokeh. It is really, really nice, soft, you have nice boards, it is such a nice bokeh, which I doesn't see often before. So what is my conclusion about this lens? If you want to use it at f4 and within 0.25 of a meter to one meter or one and a half meter, go with this lens. If you want a lens for many, many cases, for landscape, for arch architecture, for people, for closer shots, and all in all in one lens, uh, stick with the 28 millimeter. It is sharp at f2.8 and all the way from the closest, this fo closest focus distance until infinity. So the 28mm is, um, is the lens to go if you want a cheap normal lens. Not the 25, stick with the 28mm. What is your opinion to the lens? Let me know in the comments. And yeah, I hope we see you next time when I test another lens. See you then.